This is the iPhone 15 Pro, and today I want to talk about the cameras of this phone from a filmmaker's perspective, because in my opinion, this is one of the most exciting iPhone releases that Apple has had in many years for filmmakers. Let's talk about why I'm so excited. Every year Apple comes out with a new iPhone and every year they improve the cameras by a few percentage points. But at the end of the day, these are still cell phone cameras and it's a bit obvious that they're cell phone cameras whenever you put them next to footage from another professional camera like say a Sony a7S III that I'm using to record this video right now. The iPhone footage has less dynamic range, it's overly sharpened and Overall, it has a much lower bit rate, which lowers its video quality. The last few years though, Apple has made three big upgrades to the video cameras of their phones though, with the biggest in my opinion coming this year with the iPhone 15 Pro, and Pro Max. The first big change was when Apple transitioned their iPhones from filming 8-bit video to 10-bit HDR video with the iPhone 12. This helped boost the dynamic range and colors and overall resulted in significantly better footage from your iPhone. We saw the next big upgrade come in the iPhone 14 with the addition of ProRes recording internally to the camera. This codec was a massive upgrade over the heavily compressed H.265 codec you normally record with in an iPhone with a much beefier, higher data rate and dramatically less compression, making it significantly easier to edit with, while also being capable of being pushed much more when color grading. It was awesome. But this year, 2023 with the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max, we are finally seeing the upgrade that I am most excited about as a filmmaker, because with this phone, Apple added log recording when you record in ProRes. If you don't know what log is or why it's such a big deal, this is about as close as we are probably going to get as filmmakers to recording raw video with an iPhone. Yes, while pro iPhones can take raw photographs, they're actually incapable of recording raw video. And I do not see that changing anytime soon, mostly due to Red, the camera company, having a patent on raw video that Apple already challenged and lost in court over. That's a whole other story though. Let me know if you want a video about it. Anyways, as I said, recording in log is about as close as you are going to get to recording raw with an iPhone. When you record in log, your iPhone is going to capture a very flat and desaturated image that has significantly higher dynamic range, meaning that you do not lose nearly as much detail in the shadows or the highlights. And whenever you color grade your film, you are going to be able to bring back all of this contrast and saturation while also having significantly more control over the image, which will help you match up your iPhone with other cameras if you want. So. Filming in log gives you more control, but more importantly, and the reason that I'm so excited about log on the iPhone 15 Pro is that this is finally an upgrade to video recording that can help make the footage that you film on an iPhone not look like it was filmed on an iPhone. Yes, really. Remember what I said earlier about how it's easy to tell the difference between footage shot on an iPhone and footage shot with a professional camera? Well, by filming in log, you are gonna be able to close that gap, and in some situations, remove it completely. See, log footage helps you overcome three of the biggest indicators that a video was filmed with a cell phone. These three indicators are how contrasty, saturated, and sharp the image looks. By default, Apple knows that most people are going to want an image that looks great straight out of camera, so they add a ton of contrast and saturation to anything that you record, and then they also overly sharpen the image so things look really crispy. For most situations, this looks fine, but because these three things are baked into your video file, it's essentially impossible to remove them and really get rid of those indicators that you filmed your footage with a cell phone. That is, it was impossible until Apple introduced log recording with the 15 Pro and Pro Max, because by recording in log, your iPhone is going to remove that baked in high level of contrast, saturation, and sharpness, and give you, as the filmmaker, full control over how much of those three things you want to add to your image. It is, in a word, magical. And whenever you combine this flat log footage with the significantly more robust ProRes 422 that the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max can record in, you get incredibly high quality video from your iPhone that rivals the video that you get from a professional cinema camera. 
I mean, just look at the quality of footage that I'm showing you here, and you can hopefully see what I'm talking about. It looks phenomenal, and if you didn't tell me this was shot on an iPhone, I may have not believed you. Of course, it's going to take some work to color grade this footage to make it look its best because it's not going to look great straight out of camera. But that said, if you want help with that and want to save a ton of time when color grading your iPhone log footage, I am so happy to tell you that I've created a set of video presets called Who is Matt Lutz? And I have tested these with the log picture profile in the new iPhones and they work great and will give your footage vibrant and true to life colors while keeping that high dynamic range and quality. Seriously, if you use these presets, people are gonna be like, wait, you filmed this with a phone? Wow, they look that good. I'll link to them down below. Anyways, now that I've convinced you that log recording is fantastic, I first want you to know that I am working on a video breaking down exactly how to film in log with the new iPhones, because if you want your log footage to look its best, you need to do more than just open up your camera app and hit record. I hope to have that video out in a few days. Please subscribe if you want to see it. And whenever it is live, I will link to it down in the video description so you can start filming incredible looking log footage with your iPhone. Secondly, we aren't done talking about the pro video features that Apple has added to the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max, because while log recording is the headliner, they've added other useful features as well, with easily the second largest being the addition of this USB-C port on the bottom of the camera, which enables two awesome features. The first feature is that the 15 Pro and Pro Max are now capable of copying footage from the phone at USB 3.0 speeds, which are significantly faster than the old USB 2.0 that preceded them. And this is gonna be really beneficial if you're recording in that ProRes video codec because the file sizes are in a word, massive, just stupid large. This really helps bring these phones more in line with how you would experience copying footage from a professional camera with memory cards. And it's really great experience. Of course, keep in mind, these are only USB 3.0 speed ports, and I would not put it past Apple to put a Thunderbolt controller in the iPhone 16 or 17, etc., and enable even faster footage copying speed in the future. It's an easy upgrade for them. I'm sure they will do it eventually. Back to this USB-C port then. There is one other super cool feature that Apple has added to it, and this is a feature that we have only seen really on cinema cameras, so it's really cool to see it on an iPhone. The way this feature works is that you can take an external SSD, like say a Samsung T7, and plug it into your phone via USB-C, and then you can tell your iPhone to record this high quality ProRes log video directly to the SSD, bypassing your need to use the phone's internal storage. This is great because it will save you time copying footage from your phone because it's already recorded to an SSD and you can simply then plug that SSD into your computer. And even better, this is also going to save you from having to buy an iPhone with larger storage and you can get away with buying an iPhone with less storage. So say 128 gigabytes or 256 gigabytes of internal storage instead of 512 or a terabyte. And you will still be capable of recording a ton of footage to an external SSD. So. This can help save you money. Pretty cool. Speaking of pretty cool, there is one other feature that you get whenever you record with this phone using an external SSD, and that is the ability to record in 4K at 60 frames per second. Yes, strangely enough, this phone cannot record in 4K 60 in ProRes internally, but it can do it if you're recording to an external SSD. My theory for why Apple is doing this is not that the iPhone's A17 chip inside is not capable of recording 4K60 internally, because it can clearly do that to an external SSD. My thinking is that this has to do with heat generation. Anytime you start recording video in higher frame rates and resolutions, you generate more heat. And I'm betting that Apple's engineers were running into their phones overheating if they recorded in 4K60 for too long, and they realized that recording to an external SSD will not heat up the memory chips inside the phone as much and help keep it from overheating. That's just a theory though. Alternatively, you can put on your tinfoil hat and think that Apple is just restricting features because they want to hold them back for the iPhone 16. Who knows? Regardless, recording to an external SSD is pretty awesome. Just keep in mind that that means you're going to have to have an SSD dangling from your phone. So you may want to look into buying a case with mounting points, kind of like a camera cage, or if you want an even sleeker setup, iPhone Doe on YouTube made a video about a DIY MagSafe SSD mount that's super cool. I will link to that video down in the video description. Now it's my hope that at this point in this video, I've shown you how cool the new iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max are for filmmaking, because in my opinion, Apple 
has made some truly massive upgrades to the video features of their cameras, and a lot of filmmakers are going to be able to take advantage of using them. For me, I think about how many places restrict you from bringing a big video camera into them, like a concert video or a sporting event or a museum where you can't bring something like an FX6 or even an A7S III because they're going to say, no, that's not allowed. It's too professional. But you can bring in your phone because everybody always has their phone with them. Well, now your phone in your pocket can record video in ProRes 422 with video quality that's comparable to some cinema cameras which is kind of nuts, right? Or for me as a wedding filmmaker, I know many wedding filmmakers are looking for a B or C camera they can use in addition to their main camera. For example, maybe they want an extra camera they can use to record a wedding ceremony. Well, the new iPhone 15 Pro Max can record 4K log video in ProRes 422, and it has a 120 millimeter focal length equivalent zoom lens, meaning you could use this camera to record a wedding ceremony and have the footage fully match up with your other cameras. Or at least maybe you could. I haven't tried it yet. But are you starting to see the possibilities here? This is kind of crazy to see from a phone. Of course, the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max are not without their limitations, and I do think it's important that we talk about those a bit as well. First, as I said earlier, you cannot record in 4K60 internally. You have to plug in an external SSD, which is a definite limitation. Also, if you are using an iPhone 15 Pro that only has 128 gigabytes of internal storage, you are also gonna be prevented from recording in ProRes 422 in 4K with that phone. You can do it though if you use an external SSD. Weird limitation, but considering how much space ProRes 422 footage takes up, I'm not completely surprised by it. There are other software limitations for these phones as well, and I think we need to talk about them too. The biggest limitation in my opinion is the lack of zebras or visible in-camera metering when recording in log. If you're confused by those words that I just used, I'm not talking about a zebra like an animal. I'm referring to the feature of most cinema cameras that enable you to turn on stripes that will appear on your screen when your footage is overexposed. This is a really important feature when filming in log because it's really difficult to tell sometimes if your footage is overexposed or not because the the footage is just so flat and desaturated. Zebras can help you tell at a glance if your footage is overexposed, and whenever you pair those zebras with in-camera metering, they will tell you if the camera is over or underexposed. That can really help you dial in your exposure and make filming and log much easier. I would love to see Apple add these features in a software update, but I can also understand that they want to keep the camera app relatively clutter-free, and in addition, I'm sure you may be preparing to comment right now, Matt, you can just download an app that supports zebras and metering like Filmic Pro. And you're right, but using another app can cost money. And even if it's free, it's not going to be as seamless of an experience as opening up the camera app on your phone. That's always there on the lock screen, ready to be accessed by swiping over at any time, or you can use the new action button. Pretty cool. The built-in camera app is the fastest and most seamless way to record video with the iPhone. And I would love to see Apple add features like zebras and metering to their future iOS versions. Considering that they're adding such high-level pro features like log video, it makes sense to ask for stuff like that. Regardless, I want you to keep in mind that I do have another video coming out very soon all about how to record high quality ProRes log footage with the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. So please subscribe if you want to see that video and check out the video description below because I will link to it down there as well as soon as I upload it. Also down in the video description, I will include a link to my color presets, who is Matt Lutz, that work great with log footage filmed with the iPhone. I would love if you would check them out. Thanks so much for watching. Are you as excited about the video features of these new iPhones as I am? Let me know in the comments down below. 